Patricia Bath was born November 4th, 1942. Born in Harlem, New York, she was the daughter of Rupert and Gladys Bath. Her father was an immigrant from Trinidad, which he later became the first black man to work for the New York City subway as a motorman. Her mother was African American and Cherokee. Patricia was an American ophthalmologist and a humanitarian. She was the first African American woman to be the female member of the Jules Stein Eye Institution, the first to lead a postgraduate training program in ophthalmology, the first woman to be elected honorary staff of the UCLA Medical Center. She was the first African American to serve as a resident in ophthalmology at New York University. She was also the first African American woman to serve as staff of surgeons at the UCLA Medical Center. Patricia received her Bachelor's of Arts in Chemistry from Manhattan Hunter College in 1964. She then attended Howard College of Medicine. During her time at Howard, she coincided with the Civil Rights Act of 1964. She co-founded the Student National Medical Association and became its first woman president in 1965. While at Howard, she was awarded a Children's Bureau National Government Fellowship Award to do research at Belgrade, Yugoslavia in the summer of 1969, where her research focused on pediatric surgery. The assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. in 1968 caused her to dedicate herself to achieving one of the dreams of King, namely the empowerment of people through the Poor People's Campaign. She organized and led Howard Medical students in providing volunteer health services to the campaign in the summer of 1968. In 1970, Patricia was awarded a one-year fellowship from Columbia University to study and contribute to eye care services at Harlem Hospital. She began collecting data on blindness and visual impairment, which didn't have any ophthalmologists on staff at that time. In 1976, she co-founded the American Institute for the Prevention of Blindness, which established the eyesight as a basic human right. In 1986, she invented the laser phacro probe, improving treatments for cataract patients. She patented the device in 1988, becoming the very first African-American doctor to receive a medical patent.